Pass announced in January 2016 that they were retiring the official Pass service in January 2017. This is a shame, but the good news is that they have provided an open source version of Pass, which you can install on any server you like. This has the advantage of giving you the control of where to host your Pass data. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Pass Server on a cloud hosting system called Heroku. The method I'm gonna show you is pretty straightforward. There's obviously a lot going on behind the scenes, so feel free to do some Googling to find out more about Pass Server, GitHub, and Heroku if you want to. But my aim here is to get you up and running with Pass Server as quickly as possible. So let's get started. There are quite a few long links that we'll need to click on, so I've collected those together at robpercival.co.uk slash pass hyphen server hyphen on hyphen Heroku. So type that into your browser and you should get this article here. And then the first thing you wanna click on is my version of the pass server example. And this will then lead you onto a website called GitHub, which is a place where you can store and share your code. So what I've done here is actually made a copy of the official version of Pass Server. If you want to use the official version, then there's a link here, but I'd recommend using my copy so that you can be sure that everything will happen exactly as it does in this video here. Okay, now in this Pass Server example, there's a fantastic Deploy to Heroku button. And if you click that, it will then do almost all the work for you of setting up Pass Server on your Heroku account. If you don't have a Heroku account, then just put your details in here. So Rob Percival, I'm going to use rob at codestars.com. Company name is optional, but I'll put codestars in there. And it doesn't matter too much which language we choose here, but pass server is in Node.js. So let's choose Node.js and then click create free account. You'll then need to click a link in your inbox to verify your email address. I'll pause the video while I go and do that and then come back to you. And there we go. So I received the email and clicked on the link and that takes me to this page where I enter my password. I'll just put a password in there. Obviously make one that matches and then set password and log in. Okay, then click here to proceed as and then whatever your email address was and then it will remember that you were setting up the pass server example. And incidentally, you'll need to do this every time that you want to create a new pass app. So I'll just call this one Instagram. And surprisingly enough, Instagram itself is not available. So I'll just pop some numbers after it. The app name won't actually appear publicly in your app anywhere. So it's only for your own reference. And then I would leave the runtime selection to United States. And we need a Mongo Lab add-on. This is for our MongoDB database, which is going to be where the data for our pass app will be stored. And then here we put in the config variables. So the location of pass API, I would leave that as slash pass. App ID can be anything you like. I'd put something pretty long and complex in there. But for now, I'd put something long and complex in there. So I'm gonna put Instagram and then a string of numbers and letters. So you'll be able to access this. You don't want anyone else to be able to guess it. And similarly here for the master key, I'm just going to put a string of letters and numbers. Okay, and then deploy for free. So I should note that the Heroku and MongoDB platforms that we're using here are free at the testing and learning stage, but you will likely need to pay something when your app gets popular. So I'm just going to pause the video again while I enter my credit card details. There we go, and then click deploy for free again. Note that you won't be charged anything unless you explicitly request to be. And what this is doing here is essentially setting up the database. It's setting up the environment for the programming language Node.js. And it's installing all the code from the GitHub project that we saw a few moments ago, as well as setting our variables up within our app. So it's doing a lot of stuff there, but it doesn't take long. And now we're done. So let's click on Manage App. And here you can see the main dashboard for your app. We're not gonna be working a lot with this. The main thing we're gonna do is jump over to settings and reveal config vars to remind ourselves of the app ID and master key that we'll need to connect our app to our pass server. 
you can see we've got an extra variable mongolab URI. That's the URL of our mongolab database. We don't need to do anything with that either. Incidentally, you can actually view the app running in a web browser as well by clicking the three dots at the top and open app. And then if everything's gone well, you should get I dream of being a website because this is not a website that we're working with here. And if you click slash pass, then you'll get this error as well. And that's because in order to use pass, we need to pass these master key and app ID to it to authenticate ourselves, which of course we haven't done here. So this is where our app is running, but we of course want to connect to it with our app. So head back over to the blog post page and click on my version of the pass server starter Xcode project. And this will download the Swift version of the Pass Starter project, which I've slightly edited to make it easier to connect to our app on Heroku. If you want to do everything from scratch, then you can download the official SDK at that link. But again, if you want to follow along exactly with this video, then go for that first link. So then we'll open up that zip file and jump over to it. There should be a folder inside called Pass Server Starter Project. And we need to open up that folder and then double click on the Xcode project within. And this will open up Xcode with our Pass Server Starter app. If you don't have AppDelegate.swift open, then just open up the folders on the left here and click on AppDelegate.swift. And here is the only alteration that I've made to the default Pass Starter project, and that is to add in the Pass Configuration commands in Swift, which allow us to connect to our specific app. And all we need to do is put in the application ID, client key, and server address right there. So let's do that now. Jumping back over to Heroku dashboard. So app ID is that long thing there. I'm going to copy it and paste it in. Master key is the client key there. And then the server is this link here. So Instagram 1319 for me dot heroku app dot com slash pass. Yours will obviously be different. And these keys will likely be changed. So don't try using this one. Okay. And that's it. So fingers crossed. If we run this, jumping over to viewcontroller.swift, you can see that we've got a little bit of pass code here. We'll see this in more detail in the coming section. But all this does is hopefully save an object on pass and then print to the console that the object has been saved. And there we go. We've got object has been saved. That looks very promising. To be absolutely sure that we have something there, we can jump back over to Heroku, click on resources, and then click on the MongoLab link. And this will actually take you to your database. And you can see that right here in our database, we've got a collection with a session user and a schema and most promisingly, the test object that we created. Now, this is the closest thing that we have right now to the pass data browser. It's not quite as friendly to use. If we click on test, test object, we can see some JSON data, which there has our name and value in it and updated at and created at as well. Pass have stated though, at some point they will move the data browser over to the pass server version. And I'll let you all know and update this video when that happens. For now though, you can go back to Xcode and carry on with the course with your very own pass server. Enjoy.